tonight the gormans of the Skinnerkin has armed themselves with the metux cleavers and other tools of the kitchen to hunt down the finest fillets and prepare it with great care for the summer court banquet. But alas, here to spoil the prime cuts and thwart their plans are the mushroom addled gits of the shaman Sarbag, with a horde of little angry green men and a couple of bouncing squigs, he has come to collect the bestest of shrooms and spread his intoxicating gardens of hallucinatory bliss. In this battle report, I am playing the Skinnerkin in their first rodeo here on the channel. With the affinity for range 1 aggro, I figured the trusty tooth and claw would be right up their alley. Matthias is hard at work painting up sawbacks, he is an excellent painter, although a bit of a slow one, and since I already own these guys I figured he would have his way with them. We gave him the fearsome fortress for this battle report, lots of strong passive glory and getting onto several tokens with these guys should fit them well, especially with the now improved scurry. A big thank you also to Games Workshop who kindly sent us this review copy of Wintermore as well as the Rivals of the Mirrored City. Even if the Wintermore one arrived a bit late here, we are still thankful for the opportunity of course. Make sure to like if you like it, comment if you can't contain your happiness or want to point out any rules misses as they are inevitable while recording especially. And subscribe if you haven't already. And with that out of the way, let's fight. Okay, so I think I will take the first. Yep, I will take the first. I'll make a short with Young Master Crutch onto Bonecracker. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna roll two hammers with Prime Cut. So if I get a crit, I get a Haunch Counter. I'm gonna get two crits. Mm -hmm. The new die seems to be working. So, yeah, that's two damage. Yeah, so we're dead then. And that will bring me two haunch counters. One from the fillet reaction, which I do now. Yeah. Uh, after this fight is successful, range one attack action, gain one haunch counter. And after the determined success step, gain one haunch counter if I get a crit with a prime cut special ability. Or keyword, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's two two haunch counters and a glory from the kill. Uh, so the prime cut reaction happens after the determined success step, and then after the activation, I will react with that was nasty, <laughs> uh, right in the tenders. Reaction play this after an activation step. Which one or more? Friendly fights made one or more successful attack actions. Stagger each enemy fighter within two hexes of the attacker. So a Driskit gets staggered. And so my first, I will charge with Snurk. Yes. So one, two, three. Oh no. And then I will do that scurry. Yes. And do one, two. Up to three if you want to. So he does a move action. Yeah. But he can't combine the sky with his regular mm. move, the squig along with him. So two hammers. Two swords. swords. <laughs> two hammers. Yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't you. have said hammers. <laughs> but you inspire. I inspire. So he is three dodge and uh, goes to wreck your town. Alright, I'll play Call to Heal, choose one beast or a savage fighter. Push the chosen fighter one hex or up to four hexes if it's a friendly fighter. So he is a savage since of the short token. Yeah, so I need to be adjacent after the push to a friendly fighter. Mm -hmm. Sneaky step. Sneaky step. Uh, choose a friendly <coughs> fighter, push the chosen fighter one hex. So I will back off. Oh. He was all brave and all that in the beginning, but then he, oh, I don't want to stand here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'll make a short with the cons gear. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna move one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> reaction after this fight's move action, roll one magic dice for an enemy fighter whose hex this fighter moved through. Roll this one for uh, Driskit. 
And on this result, I can push that enemy fighter up to one hex, which is not really ideal. I was going for the horns counter, but it sadly didn't happen. So uh, I don't really need to push him, so I'm just gonna let him stay there. Three swords. Mm -hmm. uh, crit hit. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. Uh, but it still has one damage. Let's push him. I am gonna play card. Choose one beast or savage fighter. I'm gonna choose this one. Deal one damage to an enemy fighter adjacent to the chosen fighter. I'm gonna give Drisk it one damage. My uh, second. Your second breakfast. I need to think about the objective. Yeah, it's that part as well. So I will uh, activate him. All right. Uh, let's stick it. Right, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So he will do one, two, three. A charge. Right. I said this is scary. Yeah, you do. Like that. Yeah, easy. And then he move. Uh, mighty dead. dips. Yep, yep. there was a adjacent. Three. So he shoot him. Yes. With two swords. So he stick it. Stick it. Chooses the Flens Master <laughs> Pudridge or something. And Matt's gonna explain what Flens is in Swedish. No, I will <laughs> keep my subscribers. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Stick it. Yeah. Two hits then. Yeah. Yeah, full support even. Yeah. So I need a crit on the Flens Master. That's not it. No. So, so that, one damage. One damage. I think I will push you like that. In my Le third activation, I will take Grisla <laughs> Tenderhook. One, two, three, four. So she's rolling three swords. Uh, with uh, prime cut, so if I get a crit, I get an extra haunch. But I get nothing actually. Nothing. No, I oh. need swords and single supports. Oh, so okay. yeah, uh, that's nothing. That's a big old nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my third. Um, yes, third. I think I will charge with my boss. True. Range one. No, range three. Okay. So it's a magic. It's the magic. It's a magic touch. <laughs> Let's see if it is. So it's whistle two. Yes, so two dice. Are you yeah. attacking my leader with your ranged attack? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, okay. Uh, so swirlies. Swirlies, focuses. That's well, one success. One success. The mighty Gristler is rolling one shield. That's not a shield, and I don't have support nope. versus that attack. So that's one damage. One damage on Grisella. Do you want to push? Yeah, I will. Hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put actually the Feral Instinct on the Flens Master Pudrich. So plus one damage, and he is a beast. Uh, when activated, he must make an attack action if he can, otherwise, he must. Make a short action, uh, otherwise he must make a move action. Go on the hunt then, and charge with the Flens Master. Mm. One, two, three, <laughs> four. So he's rolling three swords and it's now two damage now. Yeah. So that's two successes. So I need a little crit. Yeah, since you only rolled one dice. Yes. So that's my last. That was so, a he, so he dies. Uh, uh, uh. So reaction after an adjacent enemy fighters take note of action, gain one haunch counter. Huh? So I get another haunch. And that means that in the following inspire step, I do inspire all of them. Huh? Since I now have three haunch counters. So one door from the kill. And I score. Uh, the main course <laughs> uh, scores immediately after an activation step if you have three or more haunch counters. Mm -hmm. And I score tenderize the meat. Scores immediately after an activation step if one or more friendly fighters made one or more successful attack action and the attack roll contained no critical successes. I rolled two swords. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, so my last activation then. Yes. I have to do one, two. Make a move. Make a move with Riskit, who is very, very injured. Okay, so in the end phase, I will score. Uh, he likes it fresh. Uh, you have two more horns counters and one or more enemy fights are vulnerable mm. to glory. So that was the reason why I didn't kill him. Yeah. Do 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 do. And I score one for you, one for me. Uh, you have two more horns counters and two more friendly fights are each adjacent to one or more uh, enemy fighters. So. Do -do. Mm. So that's also two glory. Which seems pretty easy. I mean, especially mm. versus this warband. Maybe not versus elites, I guess. Uh, I'll keep the rest and draw. Mm. I score. Look, Lair. Score is in an end phase if your warband holds three or more objectives and one or more of those objectives is in no one's end or enemy territory. Oh, nice. So I do. Yeah. So that's two. Two glory. Almost inspired. And then I score gits everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> score this uh, in an end phase if your warband holds each objective in your territory. Then it says uh, when you score this gain two additional glory points if your warband holds each objective in enemy territory. I don't. Oh. Uh, and, and or gain one additional glory uh, if your warband holds one or more objective in Noah's territory. So basically you could have hold on to that if you didn't want to score it now. Yeah. But if you want to score it later. But I, I think you want to inspire. Yeah. So that's four glory. Okay. Yeah, I will put overconfidence. Yeah. It's plus one dice to his fighters attack actions. Minus one defense. Yeah, I will put that on red cap. Yes. But we have a little bit red for red cap. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put bold engineer on Snirk. Yes. Let's roll for the second round. Yes, it's all you, my love. Yeah, I will start. Sure. I will use a uh, Driskit. You will Driskit for the biscuit. Yeah. And I do <laughs> one, two, three. All right. Charge here. Yes. And attack him. Yep. <clears throat> so three hammers. Yeah, it's a pretty good attack. Full supports. So two, two hits. hits and crit. No, he dies. Mm. So I get one for the kill. And I score. Yeah. Two supporting fighters. Yes. Uh, overwhelming gits. Overwhelming gits. Yeah. The score is immediately after a friendly fighter's successful attack mm -hmm. action if that fighter was supported by two or more friendly fighters. Very good, sir. Thank you. That's nice. I'm gonna play Internal Surrender on Grisla. So she gets plus one dice, but minus one defense. Mm -hmm. and, and the plus one dice is only for range one. I will roll five swords with Grisla mm. onto the mighty dibs mm. so with plus one dice then from the internal surrender. So five swords. Uh, yeah, I think it's very very dead. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> so that's two crits and two successes. Yeah, on uh, dibs. Yeah, so I get two horns counters. Yeah, yeah, fungal blessing. You are gonna bless me fungally. Yeah. Deal one. Yeah. So. Uh, so I, I get. I get pinged. Yeah. I throw you uh, some fungus on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it doesn't block my thing because yeah we we can play one reaction per window each. Uh, so after the f successful range one attack action, give uh, one horn scum. So I get one from the prime, prime cut and one from the fillet. So mm. Five horn counters. Uh, and I score a uh, perfect cut. Uh, you will score immediately after friendly fights attack roll. Uh, attack action. You if you rolled two or more successes and one or more of those successes was a critical success. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna play Midden Heap Scavenger on the Konskia. Rolls of shields or successes in this fight's defense rolls. So Konskia is two dodge inspired, so he's basically guarded but without the drive back negation 
And I can only put it on beasts. And I can also do an action to gain a haunch counter, but that will also give me a charge token. Yeah, I'm gonna play Feral Alteration on the Khan Skier as well. It means plus one move and plus one wound, so he is now four wounds and six move. Yeah, so my second, I will give that my leader a guard token. Yeah, sure. And then I score Earthworks. Or it's immediately after a friendly fighter is giving a guard token if the fighter is on a feature token within one hex of no one's territory. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna make a charge with this fellow. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Cedric. Not uh, the guy who dies in the Goblet of uh, Fire, I guess. Uh, Cedric the Shane. Mm -hmm. And so he, yeah, I'm gonna lash with my chain from three range. Yeah, on risk it. So, see if I can bring him down. Uh, eight crit. So I need a. You need a crit. Nope. <laughs> One range. That's glory. So, my third. Yep. I will do. One, two, three. Shot and shoot your leader with stick it. One sword. One sword. Nope. One damage. One damage. Ow. Do you want to push? Mm. Oh. Determine push. Play this after a friendly fighter's attack action. Pick one. Push that friendly fight one next toward the hex that your target occupied during the declare attack action step or one hex towards the nearest feature token. Yeah. And I score bold uh, so right. Bold sortie. Sortie, yeah. yeah. Score is immediately after an activation step in which a friendly fighter charge action began on a feature token in your territory. Yes, nice. Okay, alias play determined brutality, yes, because the first range one act action made in the next activation step of cleave or in snare, pick, pick one in the declare attack action step. Mm. So, persists. I'll take my third and I'll charge with Grisla. One, two, three. On two. Mm. Prog. So, I'm rolling five swords yet again mm. with my very wounded leader. And I pick uh, Ensnare then. So crit. So Ensnare is a moot point. Nope. So, two damage. I get one Prime Cut after the determined success step. So that's one launch counter. Uh, so if more than one player wants to play a reaction in the same step, and we both now want to do that, they take it in turn, starting with the player whose turn it is. This is referred to as a reaction chain. So I will first do the um, fillet after this fight successful range one attack action, which is the same as after the activation in this case. And then you do a reaction. Mm -hmm. Then I react with bound spirit. Play this off an enemy fighter's activation if that fight is adjacent to one or more feature token that are in the same hex as a friendly fighter. Deal one damage to that enemy fighter. Yeah, so he dies. I will put Sneaky Shuffler on a uh, red cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says roll of full support are considered to be su success in this fighter's defense roll. Then uh, he has something that calls Shuffle Reaction. Use this in the last reaction step of the round. Push the fight to one hex. Then it's your last. Mm -hmm. I will make a charge. Yeah. So one, two. Red cap on the run. Yeah. On the shot. Mm. Let's see, your peacock has uh, two dodge, right? This one? Yeah. Yeah, he's also rolling shields as ah, okay. successes and his four wounds because of the feral alteration. Well, uh, I will shoot on him. Maybe you could go there if you wanted to, I guess. If you don't specifically need to hold an objective. Mm, yeah, I want to be there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I want to break me. So I have plus one dice to, to the fighter's attack action. Yep. So that's three swords. Wow. 
Yeah. And I don't Still equally useless. I'll play greedy greedy. Attack actions made by friendly fighting in the next activation step have grievous one. Yes sir. I will put rapid defender. Right. On. Uh, yeah, I put it on my leader. Sure. I just want to get things out. I'll take my last one in the second round and I'll go one, two, three, four, five. First, I should move, roll the medic dice because I moved through you. Mm. Um, so I get to push you one hex. I could actually push you there. Mm. And then I'll attack. Mm, and I'll fail all of them. So I do, after the activation step, score last minute order. <laughs> Two more friendly fights each have one more charge tokens and you have scored one more objectives. Mm. I would have hoped to knock back you all the way there so that your push couldn't get you back on the feature token, but my plan didn't work. Okay, so you score first. Yeah, I score Conqueror Domain. Score this in an end phase if there are a friendly fighter on a feature token within one hex of no one's territory. Gain one additional glory point for each other friendly fighter on a feature token within one hex of no one's territory. So you get two. One from Red Cap and one from Salabag. But I will throw Mad Scurry, because I can't have five... Uh, That's going to be a bit hard, yeah. Unless you have some mad resurrection skills. Mm. And I will throw Staying Safe. I'm tired of holding that card now. Yeah, you're not safe anymore. No, so I will take three. I uh, am going to score <laughs> back to the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you have two or more haunch counters, I have seven. I don't have any haunch counters. <laughs> <laughs> and there are one or more friendly fights in your territory, so I have two fights in my territory, so I can score that one. One glory. And I score Slaughterhouse, scores in your face if you have more haunch counters than there are surviving enemy fighters. And I'll... Yeah, let's try to keep that one and draw up. I have one more objective there left. Nothing. Alright. Yes, I'm going to charge in with him. Uh, this is Cedric the Shane. Let's start the one that's supported. Mm. So, it's only two swords. So, nothing. And I'll take that one. Huh, crit hit. Versus yeah. the guy with three dodge. Uh, let's push him away. Come on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, actually two damage. Mm -hmm. So I will push you. The score is immediately after an enemy fighter's failed attack action. The target a friendly fight on a feature token within one hex of no one's territory. Sure. It's called impregnable defenses. It means I can't make Relicap pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's a good thing. Actually. Yeah. Because it's full of mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Kretsch a callous hands. Mm. Minus one damage to a minimum one from attack actions that target this fighter. After this fighter is dead damage, break this card and gain one spent glory point. Okay. I will put walking wall on my leader. Yes. It's, uh, yeah, for the purpose of car with, with the face on fortress symbol. Well, this fighter is not on a feature token. This fighter is considered to be on a feature token, and this fighter's hex is considered to contain a feature token that cannot be flipped. Can you take that one more time? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play Beast Caller on uh, the Kanst gear. When a savage friendly fighter is the target of an attack action, so savage is him, for example, mm -hmm. since he has a short token. Uh, this fighter is supporting that fighter. A reaction after a savage fighter is pushed, other than by this reaction, push th that fighter one hex towards this fighter. 
I will put uh, Mason's Greed Hammer yes. on Red Cap. Yeah, that's a Greed Hammer. Yeah. Your second. Yeah, so I will make a charge. One, yeah. two. Over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will use his Greed Hammer. Uh, the Mason's Greed Hammer. Yeah. So I have plus one dice to his fighters attack actions. From the overconfidence, yeah. Three, See, three hammers and with yeah, it's cleave and grievous. Cleave and grievous. So the cleave doesn't really matter, but grievous could kill me. And yeah, it could yeah. So what? Three hits. Three hits. No grievous though. So I need a crit. Nope. So that's two damage. Two damage. Ouch. I'm gonna push. Okay, I will use the Beast Quarter. When a savage friendly fighter is the target of attack action, this fighter is putting that fighter, but that didn't help me. Reaction after a savage fighter is pushed, other than by this reaction, push that fighter one next towards this fighter. So I'll push him back. Mm. Ooh, 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 I push him back. Ooh, 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 I push you back. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll heal him. Savage season, choose one or more friendly fights, heal one and stagger the chosen fighter. So heal him one and stagger mm -hmm. him. I will play the King Hangers, plus one dice to the first mage one attack action, made by a friendly fighter in the next activation. Plus two dice instead if you have no haunch counters, but I have plenty of haunch counters. So I'll charge with this fellow. I don't really like giving up that one, but I'm. So plus one dice, so I am um, from two swords to three. I do have cleave, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's really nothing though. That's, that's a sad, sad chef. I will put sharp sticker. Mm. On uh, stick it. <laughs> Sharp stick it. Mm. And then I will play Little Ward. <laughs> I love that card. <laughs> Plus really? one die yeah, to the first attack action made by a friendly fighter in the next activation. Yeah, it's very straightforward. Yeah. Mm. My second. I will make a charge. One, two, three, four. And try to hit. He was the one that was wounded, right? Yeah, Cedric yeah. Diggory. So I have four dice then. Sure. It's, it's free from the sharp sticker and plus one for little wag. Okay. And, uh, and it has uh, Wicked. This attack action has Grievous X, where X is the number of friendly supporting fight. Yes, so we have Grievous one. Yeah. That's not good. No crits, please. But you get... Yeah, yeah, I can't defend it. Crit and yeah, two three, hits. Three stat. And you have a reroll. Yeah, I do. So if you want to reroll the crit, no. I, I could. I get the crit <laughs> and three hit four. Yeah, yeah, okay, wrap it in. <laughs> wrap it in, sir. I am going to use my third activation to charge. Um, I guess over you. <laughs> huh? Is he wounded? No. Let's roll that magic dice. See if I can finally roll a crit or a shadow. Yes, so we take one damage. And I get a haunch counter. So, uh, three swords. <laughs> I, I, I think I've rolled that result for quite some time. But I do score. Sing while you work. Scores immediately after friendly fighter attack action, if that was the third or subsequent rage one or rage two attack action made by a friendly fighter in the same phase. Each of those attack action was made in a different activation step. I actually have done four, but two of them was done, done in the first same activation step with the siding. So I needed to do my fourth there. So, yeah. So my third, I will take a power card. Yeah, so you will venture. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, so I will play that one. Shoot it over. Okay, so you roll a uh, magic dice. 
Ja, så jag säger shoes of fight, så jag shoes uh, mushroom head. Uh, give the shoes of fight one guard. Yeah, and then you roll, and then we'll see what the result it is. Yeah. So you will have to do less reading. Yeah, <laughs> so I should roll a magic die. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's see what it is. So shall we? Stagger each fighter adjacent to the chosen fighter. Okay. Let's see if I can roll something against them, two hammers and a full support. Which one do you attack with? Him. Mm. Yeah, well, one hit. You are guarded though, so. Yeah. That's a success though, so. Nothing happens. Yeah, so my last. And then I do one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. Crit hit it. Yeah. Two. You don't have Grievous or something no, nasty like that, right? Not on that one. So two damage. Okay. Yeah. Do you have some awful pink card here? No. I'll play Practiced Butcher on the card skewer. It's a reaction. At the end of the action phase, if this fighter is adjacent to one or more enemy fighters, roll one magic dice. On a roll of channel or crit, choose one of these enemy fighters. Deal one damage to the chosen fighter and gain a horde count. So I do the reaction and try to kill him. But if I roll a swirly, you still live. But I don't, so he takes one damage. Mm. So he dies. Mm. Uh, so that's the end of the action phase. And then I score first. Right? Mm. Yeah. So I don't score focal point, because I don't have a leader alive. I didn't manage to score the attacked flank, because I couldn't make a successful attack with uh, supports. Uh, but I do score three glory from blade, Plated Banquet. Uh, and the fluff text here says, Presentation, presentation, presentation. Yeah. <laughs> from Gore Meat Rip Splitters Cookbook, Chapter 12. Presentation. Uh, you have five or more horns counters, and each surviving friendly fight has one or more upgrades. Mm. Three glory. So, yeah, that's three more. Two a grand total of. 21. Yeah, you just <laughs> effed up four glory for me, so... What would you have scored there with him? I would have scored stockpile for oh, two yeah. and uh, underground fortress. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, yeah. underground fortress is three. No, four. Okay, okay, okay. So, four. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, that was a big swing there. Mm. I have 13. And you, so you would have 17 and I would have one less. So it would have been 20 to 17. That would have been mm. pretty close. So, but yeah. <laughs> it was pretty close all the way to the end, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a fun game. Um, kind of tricksy teams. Yeah. Well, I, I guess the, the squeaks are split. Uh, these were pretty straightforward aggro, actually. Um, I don't like... It's too, <laughs> ma- too many... <laughs> too many... Too many... Diminutive fighters. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like them, but... Yeah, they are fun to play, but for me it's, it, <coughs> it's too many. I think you would have liked these guys. Yeah. Five guys, very aggressive. The searches mm. felt very good. I actually kept all of their infection searches for the, the, this uh, Nemesis format. So, yeah, I, mean, I mean, obviously the bleed a lot of glory, especially with just one dodge now, so... Yeah. So, yeah. But I think you, you did well with the fair supporters, and you could have gotten... Very easily to 17 as we, we saw there. So. Yeah, that is it for today. Yes. Hope that you have enjoyed this battle report. Enjoy. And uh, stick around for more. Stick around for more. And. Uh, and uh, good night. Good night. <laughs> it's late here. <laughs> so we're really tired. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, scoot. Scooty doot. This is me again, chiming in to thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. All of those things help me out immensely. If you feel so inclined, do consider to become a member to gain a greater influence over the content, early access and just generally help me out. If you like this particular video especially much, feel free to click the thanks button as well to leave a small donation. All of those things are 100% optional and I will never keep videos permanently locked behind a paywall as my main goal is to spread the love for these games as much as possible. A special thanks to my members 
whose legendary names are scrolling right before your eyes at this very instant. Don't forget, the games are not only about winning, but also creating unforgettable memories with your friends and opponents. That's it for me. See you soon. Bye-bye.